200. I've always drawn the toughest semi-finals over the years and also lane two all the time. Um, but it is what it is. I did my best today and I can't ask some more. That was the best I had today. Uh, there was a naked guy, a was there. What was going through your mind when you stepped on the blocks? Um, step into the blocks, I just went in there. The mindset to win, I ran to win. Um, I didn't, I didn't win, but my mindset and my goal was to go in there and to win the race. Um, I felt like coming off the turn, I had a good shot of winning, but I wasn't able to finish as strong as I wanted to. Um, I sustained an injury two weeks ago in um, our national championships running the 200. That's why I didn't run the, um, the finals of the 200 in championships. Um, and prior to that, I hadn't trained for two weeks um, on the track. I had two workouts for one week and then the following week, I was doing runs on um, a high jump mat every day. First time I ran was uh, when I came here. You know, so it was just a blessing from God, honestly, for me to be able to run here um, and to still, without doing any running on the track, run 44-7. I mean, it shows that there's still a lot in store, but I mean, I can't, can't get away from the fact that I'm still disappointed. I mean, it's hard to not make a final. Um, it's hard, it's hard, but I mean, I accept it for what it is and in all things, what is good, so. The, the 200 or the 400, I mean, what, why did you make this for the 400? I, I was having a better season in the 400 this year, honestly. Um, Although I ran more twos this year, I was showing a lot of fitness and signs that I was ready to run fast um, in the 400 meters and sadly I got hurt two weeks ago so I mean it is what it is, you have to accept it for it is and take the, take the positives out of it and with the negatives just use it as something to make you stronger so I mean that's what I want to do, I want to let this defeat burn and use it as, as some motivation to you know do better next time around.